another beautiful day here in Dinosaurville with all the water from the natural waterfall with the nice whew, stegosaurus on top, I believe. And then we come down here to see these two dinosaurs fighting of the same kind. Both herbivores has, I mean carnivores, as the herbivores drink from the lake. God bless waterfall. These two fight for their lives, but then the other one strikes back. But then they both fall, somehow in some way. They're also dangerous here in Dinosaur, Dinosaurville. That includes a volcano right next to the natural waterfall. Hmm. Some, some herbivores and carnivores even like go right next to it, but then you should watch out for strikes. The carnivores love themselves as a good herbivore right next to the volcano. Oh. Now, as he feasts slowly on his rotten flesh, they notice something. The waterfall is not streaming as fast today, and the water is not as warm as they remember it. Now, some herbivores are not as lucky though. Some don't get the water. So, they don't care if it's slow or not. They go right under it to have some. And then they come right out, back to drinking. In the regular pond. Some even get stuck in the waterfall. But it's a very natural day in Dinosaurville. Not all good things approach. Today, what looks to be a Tyrannosaurus Rex is coming. Now, he's not here to just eat herbivores. He wants carnivores too. But today in the sky, there are no pterodactylists, AKA pterodactyls. So the dinosaur will have to, so the Tyrannosaurus Rex will have to eat whatever. So he strikes at a herbivore first, I mean a carnivore, and knocks him down and tries suffocating him, but then the carnivore strikes back somehow, and but then the T-Rex throws him against the cinder block. And, what the, okay, that got stuck. And then the Tyrannosaurus Rex throws the, dino, the carnivore against the cinder block, and he dies. As he leaves the lake in order to eat him, this is what he does first. He picks up a rock nearby. Gotta get this rock. Yeah. 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 Okay. He got some much smaller rock nearby. He tries to shove it down his throat just for fun, but can't. So he throws it away and he feasts on the rotten flesh. <laughs> Next we have Spinosaurus here, who hangs out on top of the waterfall, viewing the beautiful view that they have here. And then one day, he falls off into the water and gets pulled away from his colony and family. This herbivore, this herbivore, I believe, herbivore and carnivore, I forget what they call those, sorry, um, gets pulled away from its family and ends up in a hole with plastic. That's not good. I'll clean it up later. And then one, and then all of a sudden, the volcano erupts. It wipes out the whole entire dinosaurville. Boulders everywhere, everywhere, but the waterfall still goes. And that is how dinosaurs went extinct. No, not a, a, a meteor or a volcano or whatever. I mean, no, not a meteor, but a volcano. Unsuspected? Yes. How? Nobody knows. But today, all that lies is the very slow waterfall. 
that is all natural. And I hope you enjoyed this like first and probably only episode of Dinoforville with non-informational facts. And hopefully we'll see you next time on Dinosaurville, Dinosaurville. Join Fred and Tim next time as they fight each other. Goodbye.